How many of you agree that in life, we never get what we want when we actually want it? Toastmasters and friends, I studied all day and night. I had more tea and then coffee. I did everything to keep me awake because, as, as always, there was a last minute preparation. I'm just one paper away from my associate status was the conversation which was running in my mind. Suddenly, I heard an inner voice, voice of truth. Ambi, you are the member of Avenger family. Yes, my Avenger. I grabbed my raincoat and raced towards my bike. I took my bike and when I was about to reach Maratanali, I realized I neither been to that place nor I do know the route to reach the destination. I took out my mobile in order to check the route and then I proceed further. The nearer I went towards the destination, the brighter the sky and lesser the rain was. I reached the place, finally, ha, the Christ University. I took out my hall ticket and I noticed ascendant building. God, where could I find, the, find this right now? Even the God was not near, this, near the gates of universities. I decided to reach out to someone who is traveling by the way. And I could see one person who was carrying the ID card of that university. Luckily, he was the only person who was carrying that ID card. I stopped the person and asked him the route in order to reach that destination. He said, bro, go straight and take the next gate. Listen to his wisdom. I took my bike, went straight, and took the next gate. It was not just the destination. It was the destination. It was a church. I was wondering where this ascendant building would be in this church. Luckily, there was a priest who was walking towards me. I went to him and I asked, Father, I need to reach this ascendant building in Christ University. Can you guide me to reach to this place? He said, son, this is not Christ University. I think you have to take a U-turn and reach to the university gates again. Hearing this, I realized I missed something, something which I needed to focus when I was crossing the path. <laughs> I went to the diary circle, took a U-turn and went back to the university. Luckily this time, there was a God. He guided me to a gate, which is very near to that main entrance. And I went towards that, I went inside that gate, parked my bike and raced towards the exam hall. Unfortunately, I was five minutes late and I was denied to write my exam. Friends, it is not just exam. Even in life, how many times we fail to notice a small gate which is very near to our to reach out to our friends, to reach out to our family members, to reach out to our beloved ones. Like the old words of messages being pushed by new conversation, the new priorities and new things in our life pushes the important person, loved ones in our life to the bottom of the list, or even to the option list. It took me a tragic event in order to realize this demise of my beloved cousin. We were of same age group. We were close friends. Just because of different paths we took in our profession, we splitted and we lost contact for nearly seven years. Only when I heard his demise, I realized I lost the touch. I lost to be there for him when he, mo when he would have probably needed me the most. I lost to say him that I loved him the most. Friends, in exams, if I fail, it is not a failure. My success was just denied. <clears throat> I can rewrite the exam and I can clear that. But in life, I cannot get my cousin back and I cannot convey him all the feelings which I had for him. <coughs> Friends, 
don't regret this is the time and this is the right time to think about that in recent days we are digitally connected but we are emotionally detached from one another how many of us remember our beloved friends birthdays without the help of any gadgets without the help of any notification from facebook or gmail or any other aspects how many of us reached out to the friends who we haven't talked for a long time and this is the time just take your phone mobile log log into your whatsapp app and scroll to the bottom of the list and just type a message hi to the person and don't forget after some time dial to them and say hi because all it takes is just hi to the people Thank you.